welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching and reacting to The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 11. I ain't a Judas. Okay. Last episode was a pretty alright episode. Um, I remember it's kind of on the boring side at certain times, but it was alright. Um, we got Rick seeing uh, Rory again. And I thought, I had thought that wasn't, that was just stupid. That was just my opinion. Maybe I will find out why the writers decided to do that later on down the road. But for right now, I thought it was just stupid. Um, then we got the governor infiltrating the prison. <laughs> that, was, that was a great scene. But yeah. Overall, it was all right. So let's go ahead and get started into this episode. Um, I will say I'm feeling a lot better than what I was. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm over COVID. So, The Walking Dead, Season 3, Episode 11, I Ain't a Judas. No, better to live like rats. You got a better idea? Yeah, we should have slid out of here last night and lived to fight another day. And we lost that window, didn't we? That truck through the fence thing? That's just him ringing the doorbell. We might have some thick walls to hide behind, but he's got the guns and the numbers. And if he takes the high ground around this place... Shoot. He could just starve us out if he wanted to. I said we should leave. Now Axel's dead. We can't just sit here. I mean, that's true. Get back here! You're slipping, Rick. We've all seen it. We understand why. But now is not the time. You once said this isn't a democracy. Now you have to own up to that. I put my family's life in your hands. So get your head clear. And do something. <sighs> Right like that, Rick. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking Herschel ain't fucking playing. I already know they're not going to stay in that prison forever. Let's say something. Will you promise not to be mad? I won't get mad. You should stop. Stop what? You think the leader? Let Herschel and Daryl handle things. Deserve a rest. Yeah, even your own son recognizes that you went fucking mad, bro. You need to rest. I 1000% agree with that. Let's go. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, the farmer, Hirsch. And you're the black sheep, Maru. How'd you lose it? Was bit. Bit. Hack it off yourself? No. Rick did. Awful kind of man. <sighs> when the governor returned, he's gonna kill me first. Michonne. My brother. Then your girls. Glenn, Carl, the baby, whoever else he left. He'll save Rick for last. So he can watch his family and friends die ugly. That's who you're dealing with. Yeah, he's pissed. He wants to kill everybody in there. <laughs> he's gonna slaughter every last one of them. You asked me to keep tabs on her. She's going back to the prison and has requested my assistance in escaping her words, not mine. Let her help her. Exactly. Okay, do you really want me to do that or is it some sort of test? She asked for help. Help her.
Oh, she done up a show there. Okay. Another nigga for you. This time there, there's one that you can fuck. <laughs> you know, if we're gonna live under the same roof, we should put it here. This whole hunting you down thing, that was just business. Carry down orders. Hmm. Life that can stop. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, hope we can get past it. Let bygones be bygones. Did she meet Andrea? I forgot. There's nothing to work out. We're gonna kill him. I don't know how or when, but we will. Once we entered Woodbury, you became hostile. That's no. I could see it. Exactly. But you were under his spell from the second you laid eyes on him. Exactly. That's not true. I did not realize the Messiah complex was contagious. Got a helmet, Sean. He chose a warm bed over a friend. That's why I went back to Woodbury. Exposed him for what he is. Listen, Andrea. I knew that it would have... Ran into some whack job in a prison. You saw him? Oh, yeah. Screaming like an idiot. He's a little unhinged. Everything seemed decent. Everything seemed cool until the leader came back and practically shoved a gun in my face. You were at the prison? You need help with these guys? We're in. Well, I don't know. We, uh, couldn't ask you to join in our fight. Look, we don't want to be out there. It's only a matter of time before. Oh, I understand. What happened to Laurie? During the C-section. And Shane? Rick killed him. The night we left the farm, that whole Randall thing was a lie. Shane tried to kill Rick. Shane loved Rick. Shane loved Lori. The governor... I need to do something. I am. Um, you need to sleep with him. Give him the greatest night of his life. Get him to drop his guard that when he's sleeping, you can end this. She's already slept with him. Just don't fucking get it. But Sean just tried to tell you, bitch. So we in your home. She's in the gym. We all are. Andrew is persuasive. This cell is armed to the teeth. Bit on destruction. So we want to do. We match it. I'm going on a run. Now you stay here. Keep an eye on your brother. I really can't believe the governor let her back in. He told her not to come back. 
kill the motherfucker. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that episode was pretty fucking good. Yeah. I actually enjoyed that episode. That episode, it had me glued to the screen. It had me on my toes. Um... It was good from start to finish. Way better than last episode. Ten times better. That, and, and there was really no action. It was just the storyline of the episode. And the things that was going on within the episode. And it kept me glued. You know what I'm saying? Like it just, it had my attention. I was intrigued. Um, fantastic episode. You know, everybody tells me that, you know, especially, especially in Game of Thrones, that, you know, there's no action in an episode that, you know, I'm not going to like it. That's not true. Yeah, I love action, of course. But I'm a storyline type of guy. And with the storyline, if not great, I'm not going to like it. That was a good, ep that was a good episode. Um... Uh, it had me worried. <laughs> I think that was the main reason why it was so fucking good. It had me worried for Andrea. Um, I know eventually she's going to die. They all going to die. Uh, eventually. Um, uh, well, maybe not so much Rick. He's the star. So I don't think he's going to die anytime soon. But I know they all going to die. And I just didn't want Andrea to die on this episode. I at least wanted her to reunite with the with the group and she did that and she went back to Woodbury and I don't know. I just I'm just sitting I'm sitting here trying to figure out her future. What is gonna happen with her now? Eventually she's gonna have to choose between her old group and her new group. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. I don't know, but but now she knows that the governor lied. He went there to retaliate. And he's a fucking liar. And she knows what he's going to do. He's going to go there and kill everyone. That's why he asked, was Michonne still there? Was Meryl still there? Because he's going to go fucking ballistic. I don't know. I like how this episode really focused on Andrea, uh, mostly. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, that's that. But anyway. The episode is called I Ain't, I Ain't a Judas. I was wanting to figure out or find out who would say that. I figured somebody was going to say that. Nobody said that. I don't know if it's Merle or I don't know if it's Andrea, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know who would be accused of a Judas. I'm thinking Andrea. I'm not sure. But fantastic episode, guys. I loved it. Uh, I got to go ahead and react to uh, Ages of Shield. So, uh, well, I might wait till tomorrow for that. I'm not sure, but Great episode. All right, guys. If you guys like my reaction, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications when I upload my next video. And you guys have a good day. Stay safe and be blessed. Peace.